What is your definition of resiliency? Uh, resiliency to me is, um, I mean, there's the the very basic definition or the the what we call the denotative definition, which would be when you fall, you get back up. It's a thing where it's a level of consistency and determination. Uh, but I think resiliency more in the in the context that the audience would want to to learn about it would be uh, uh, a level of so you have a goal that you're trying to get to, and that no matter what happens when you fall, you get back up, but you actually get stronger and you learn from each one of the mistakes that you make on the way to getting your goal. And and the reality is, if you, for instance, were a, you know the first time you tried to become a singer, you had a hit album, or the first time you put out an app, you made a billion dollars you wouldn't have to have any resiliency. And actually your journey from that point forward actually might be harder because of fewer bumps in the road. So resiliency uh, is a teacher. My, my definition of resiliency would be it's a teacher. It's a teacher that teaches you different lessons that eventually get you to your goal. I love it. And, and I believe, like I said, I'm a big fan, big fan of University of Texas. Um, I'm a big Ricky Williams fan. And if he didn't go through the shit that he went through before he got to the NFL, I don't think he would have made it to being a, a future Hall of Famer because he had to deal with the resiliency of, first of all, being a black guy at the University of Texas, having the long hair that he had, being a wild child. He was different, so he had to go through a lot of adversity in order to be great, in order to go to the Saints and then the Dolphins. So I think he's a perfect definition of resiliency. So tell you know, he us retired. Really about... Sorry, go ahead. Go no, I knew Ricky. Uh, you know, R Ricky and I are the same age. Uh, went to co went to class at the same time. I'm sure he doesn't remember me though. Uh, but uh, Ricky uh, was kind of the weirdest things where you know we loved him. Uh, that the long hair didn't really bother anybody on campus, but we knew he smoked a lot of weed. And and at UT Austin, there's kind of like a lot of people who smoke marijuana, and then there was also the the Bible thumpers who didn't like it. You obviously yeah. know. Uh, my man, um, uh, we had a we had a bunch of Matthew McConaughey, who's the biggest UT supporter there is. He yep. got caught smoking weed, uh, playing bongos in his in his house naked. Uh, it was just a, kind of a strange situation. But I will say this: I, I knew some of Ricky's girlfriends, and they were the prettiest girls at the whole school. That was that was for sure. So uh, that was an interesting time seeing Ricky. I mean, that guy's a freak of nature. I've never he's the closest thing I've seen to Bo Jackson. Maybe not quite as fast as Bo Jackson, but just just absolutely built to just destroy people. Maybe Ricky, another comparison, Ricky Williams would be uh, Marshawn Lynch. Marshawn, maybe a little bit, uh, Marshawn Lynch probably had a, a, few, uh, a few more moves than Ricky, but Ricky was a, a lot like that. And, I, and I, I've met Ricky a couple of times and I've talked to him and probably one of the most quiet, unassuming dudes that you'll ever meet. I would yeah, talk to yeah. him like, Ricky, can you speak up a little bit? But he yeah. has such a hulking presence but such yeah. a humble and quiet nature. So. If you're watching this, I have a gift for you. Click the link below and I will send you a private invite to my community for free. Yes, free.